This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, Thou shalt be visited with the Lord of hosts, with thunder, and with great earthquakes. I mean, with uh, earthquake, and great noise, with storm, and tempest, and flames of the violent fire. Mark 13, 8, for nations shall rise against nations and the kingdom against kingdoms. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Matthew 24 and 7, for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Hollywood was also hit hard. Floodwater is not going down easy in many spots. From Chopper 4, we spotted people waiting in the high water and water bubbling up from a drain in another area. Now, remember, if your neighborhood is flooded, officials warn you to stay out of the water because you never know what danger could be lurking underneath. Our team coverage continuing tonight with a look at the very personal toll the rising waters took on some families. Let's send it over to CBS 4's Ashley Dyer. She's been all across South Florida today, but she is live for us in Miami Beach now. So, Ashley, How's it looking out there since the last time we talked to you an hour ago? Carly, we're seeing slight improvements here every hour into the evening. This is Prairie Avenue behind me that you're looking at. It's right near Miami Beach Senior High. You know, you still see this flooding behind me, but we're seeing the water recede a lot as the day goes on. If you can picture just hours ago this morning, this water stretched all the way across and up into people's front lawns. And that is the time of day. It was around 7 o'clock that this man tells me he was driving to work. His car stalled out. And you see here about 7 o'clock tonight, they are still here trying to get his car back on. People we talked with say it is a rough start to rainy season. Across South Florida, roads underwater. It's a long-term concern. Cars stalled. It's scary. I'll say a little anxious, just making sure I get through. And homes flooded. The whole entire house is flooded. Hallandale Beach taking one of the hardest hits. Three inches, almost four inches of water. Tiana Bryant noticed water seeping in around three this morning. Now her and her six children are doing what they can to get it out. Now I got to figure it out the like, This is just the beginning season of the rain and we already flooded out. Like, all my furniture is messed up. As we went further south, the theme continued. Neighborhoods drenched in rain. We've helped maybe a half a dozen people. We haven't, you know, nothing life threatening, but just moving cars and making sure people are okay. People who live here say their pumps and storm drains stood no chance against the heavy downpours. <laughs> and he said the pumps just are they're on, but they're just not keeping up. Meanwhile, in Miami Beach, yeah, it's time to take the road out. Prairie Avenue near Miami Beach Senior High soaked in several inches of water. Yeah, the whole road is covered, but on the other hand, it's uh, it's not reaching the house really, so. We're still good. Right now, you are looking at a storm drain. Clogs not doing much to mitigate the flooding on this road. This is what uh, many of the storm drains actually look like along Prairie Avenue. We did talk to Miami Beach crews. They say they have people working around the clock trying to clean up these soggy roads. For now, that's the latest. Live from Miami Beach, Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News. Want to know the best way to potentially make a Mark had left with uh, Eddie. I said Mark had left with Eddie. I said Mark had left with Eddie. Oh, you did? Yeah, I had knocked on the door and woke him up. Yeah, I think he did. Oh, I'm good. You, you close. I'm good. Right. <laughs> mm. So yeah, after you seen that uh, Salaki for the moment here, I'm gonna speak to my OG. But uh, Shalom, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Hashem, Wakakadash.
Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akin, uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I say shalom to your Akin out there. As you've seen, I uh, brought that uh, video clip on YouTube uh, showing, uh, you know, in Miami, you know, Miami South, uh, I think it's South Florida, in the southern region of uh, Florida. <coughs> you know, you've seen those uh, heavy floodings down there, you know, that let you know that the Heavenly Father is visiting this place with uh, storms and earthquakes. And the tempest, the uh, the very fly, uh, tempest of uh, and the flames of the fire, fire. Because right, you're gonna see increase of wildfires. You're gonna see the increase of uh, tornadoes, uh, mudslides, landslides, heavy floodings, heavy storms. You know that can cause a lot of damage. You know, I believe like a couple of days ago, just like they said on the weather center. You know. Is going to be above normal average, way above average of uh, tornadoes, because we we're going to be entering that season where these uh these tornadoes and these earthquakes are going to cause a lot of damage, you know, and these storms going to cause a lot of flooding. This I did a uh, previous video on uh Brazil, you know, you got they, this is like the second or third time they had their worst. Mud slides. I believe it's over there in the south region of uh, Rio, Rio of Brazil. You know they got hit with those uh, heavy mud slides. You know because these are the signs of the times that we are living in. Because uh, the weather is going to cause a lot of damage around the world, not just only here in America, and around the world as well too. You know, like I mentioned before. With the uh, high increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places, the high magnitudes of those, it's gonna be a large number from four to seven of a high magnitude increase of these uh, earthquakes around the world. These heavy floodings, these heavy storms, these heavy tornadoes, gonna cause a lot of damage. You know, especially throughout the years, it had it increasingly even more. You know, because they always say it's climate change, is this. No, it's not climate change. It's the Heavenly Father that's doing these things. That's why I brought out the scripture, Isaiah 29 and 6, you know. And I'm going to read it again for uh, edification's sake. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and earthquakes and great noise with storms and tempests and flames of divine fire. Right, because Yahweh Bashem El Shai, uh, the Heavenly Father, that's his true name, Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorant call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, uh, Paleo Hebrew. The Heavenly Father and his Son name is in the ancient uh, Paleo Hebrew as their true names, you know. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, thy power, is the ones that's doing these things, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemel Shah, that's increasing these storms and wildfires and earthquakes in diverse places, and it's going to increase more and more and more these last days, you know, so with that, I just want to bring out this little quick sit down lesson, uh, in reference to uh, what went down over there in Florida, the southern region of Florida, and the Miami over there in that region. As the Heavenly Father hit heavy floodings down in that place. And it's going to increase throughout America, you know. With these heavy uh, rain floods, these heavy storms, these heavy earthquakes. You know, it's going to cause a lot of damage, you know. Because it's not climate change. It's not that. It's not climate change. It's the Heavenly Father that's doing these things. It's not, it's not Mother Nature. It's not climate change. It's the Heavenly Father that's uh, doing these things on the earth. That's why the scripture says, Thou shalt be visit of the Lord with hosts, with storms and earthquakes and tempests of our fire. The Heavenly Father that's doing these things on the planet Earth. You know, like the scripture says, the, the whole earth is his footstool. You know, Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to constantly continue these, 
can continuously do these things on the planet Earth because he the one that does these things. Him and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you know. So with that, once again, I hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh and uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, uh, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, pushing the word truth and necessarily. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truth and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like come to the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom and the Bible Paul.